cry out. They scream in peace when there ain't no peace. Israel pop a sign in the streets. Look at me, the center of attention. Black Messiah coming with a vision. What's your name? Makai. Huh? Makai. Makai? I'm Soldier Levi. Alright? Let me ask you a question. What's your nationality? African-American. African-American, right? So how old are you? You might be a little... 16. You're 16, right? Before they start calling you African-American, like your parent, at one time they were just calling them Negro or Afro-American. You understand that? Yes. But God did not call us African-American, right? Okay. Let me ask you a question. Look at these two pictures. Which one is Christ? You go to church? Okay, in churches, which picture they have as Christ? In every church, you could go to one, in every church you will see one picture. Which one? This one or this one? A white, picture. A, a white picture, right? It don't matter what church you go to, you always see a white picture. But when you ask them, when the Bible Christ look like a white boy, but they cannot prove it to you. My brother, what color is Christ, my brother? No, stay right, don't go nowhere. What's, what color is Christ? Uh, he's a black man, right? Give me that revelation. Go ahead. I'm going to show you that Christ is a black man. Now, Christ was an Israelite according to the Bible. Read. Right. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it's describing Christ's head, right? See, Christ's head and his, the hair on the top of his head and his beard were white like wool. Like you, my little brother. You got woolly hair. I got woolly hair. This white man do not have woolly hair. He got straight hair. Straight horse hair. You understand that? That's strike one. Read. As white as snow. Uh-huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So he's saying that his eyes were as flame of fire. Do this white boy have red eyes? But this bitch got red eyes, right? Read. Go ahead. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Uh-huh. And his feet like a too fine bread. So now we're looking at his feet. If I look at your feet and look at the rest of your arm, they both look alike, right? One might be a little lighter than the other, but they still look the same, right? Watch this. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. Jump up on the breast part. And his feet, and his feet uh -huh. like unto fine brass. So now it's comparing his feet unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brass. Brass. Like a penny. That's like brown or gold. They go like brown like gold, right? You're saying that it's comparing his skin to what? Brass color. But let's see how dark his skin look. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. So if you take that same thing, right, and you burn it in the fire, what color it turn? If you take anything burned in the fire, what it turn? Black. black, right? So the Bible said Christ is a black man. That's right. But why are they pushing this image throughout the earth? Saying that Christ is a white man. White supremacy. White supremacy, correct. You a smart young man. It meaning that brainwash. They're trying to brainwash us, right? So you tell me you're African American, but I'm gonna show you a true nationality according to the Bible. Do I have a 28? I'm gonna show you that you're not African American, all right? That you're greater than an African American. That's right. There is no power in African American. That's why we've been oppressed for over 400 years till this day. You understand? You know a little history about slavery? Yes, did you know slavery is in the Bible? Yes, sir. Did, did your pastor ever tell you that slavery in the Bible? That you could find your history according to the Bible? Bible study. Bible study. I'm, I'm saying this. Does he ever say that your real history is in the Bible? No, what he always tell you? He said that a lot of answers that he has learned, they put in the Bible. But I'm going to show you that your pastor is a liar, alright? I'm going to show you that your pastor is a liar. Because everything I'm going to do is, I'm going to get it from the Bible. If I'm not getting it from the Bible, that means I'm a liar too. You understand that? Watch this, Deuteronomy 20 and 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh-huh. But it shall come to pass. So this is Moses speaking to the children of Israel. Read. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses saying that to the Israelite, if you not listen to God. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do what? All his commandments. If you don't want to do his commandments, read. And his statutes. Uh-huh. Which I command thee this day. The same thing Moses was telling our ancestors is the same thing I'm telling you today, young man. Read. That all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. So, the consequences for not keeping the commandment are curses or judgment from God. Are curses good or bad? 
bad thing, right? Watch this, verse 16. Curse shalt thou be in the city. The first curse is we're going to be cursed in the city. Name what bad, if you think about in the city, who live in the worst conditions? Us black people, black and Hispanics. Do you see most white people live in the worst condition? Barely. Barely, right? God said a first curse that's going to happen is curse in the city. That's your little brother. Hey, little man. Little man. Come back, little man. We, just, we try to teach you that you're a God on this earth. You're a king on this earth, all right? Come right quick. Jay, give me five minutes of your time. All right? Keep going, officer. And curse shalt thou be in the field. So if you know anything about slavery, what was we doing in slavery? Doing labor for whites. Doing labor for whites, right? Like what type of labor? Cotton field. Cotton field, right? Watch this. Look at this picture. Come a little closer. Watch this. Can you see? Our people, we was picking up the cotton. From sunlight to sun to um some um from morning to night. You understand that? That happened to us. So what that make us so far? Are we African American or are we the children of Israel? You, you see, we still African American? Okay, verse 32, watch this. Another curse uh, that's going to happen to the Israelite. Watch this, go ahead. Verse 32, uh -huh. thy sons and thy daughters uh -huh. shall be given unto another people. Another curse that's going to happen is your son and, the, and your daughter is going to give into another people. When did that happen? When did they take our son and our daughters? During, during slavery, right? Guess what could happen? For example, that's your little brother? Yes, if your little brother was my son during slavery time, they could took him and ship him from Indiana to Mississippi or from Indiana to Virginia to North Carolina. Stuff like that, we couldn't do nothing about it. You understand that? Yes, Read. And thine eyes shall look and fell with longing for them all the day long. So the consequence of that is, when they took our son, well, what, what you think our ancestors was doing? Were we happy or sad? sad? We're sad, you understand that? We're sad. So that's what the Bible is saying, read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Another thing is you won't have no might in your hand. Do you know what it means? When you won't have no might in your hand? You have no power. There you go, you're a smart young man. We had no power to get him back. That's right. We had no military power. We ain't had no what, money to buy him back. Imagine it. How can you have 50 slaves in one plantation and two or three white men, but they put fear in our heart? We're going to overthrow them. Because of the fear that they put in us. Who put that fear in us? The white man or God? The white man. No, God. Read verse 15. You missed the point. Remember this point. Verse 15. Verse 15. Uh huh. But it shall come to pass. Uh huh. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God said, if you're not going to listen to him, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. If you don't want to do his commandments, read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. The same thing they were telling our ancestors, the same thing I'm telling you today, read. That all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee. And do what? And overtake thee. They say, all these curses going to happen. Are curses a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. Bad, right? What was one of the curses that I read earlier? Let me see if you're listening. I can't. What happened to us when we came here? We was cursed. We was cursed doing what? We was cursed in the city. In the city, right? Worst conditions. What else? Yeah. What was doing in the field? Picking cotton. Picking cotton, right? That's another curse. So that's how you know that you're children of Israel, because God said that was going to only happen to the children of Israel. That's right. You understand that? Now ver jump to verse 28. Watch this. Verse 28. Uh huh. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. So God said he's going to smite thee with madness. If you look around the, um, the east side of Indianapolis, there's a lot of madness going on. Like what? Game banging. Black men killing each other. Sisters what? Fighting each other. You understand that? Read. And blindness. And blindness. Read. And astonishment of heart. Meaning that we're going to be blinded to what's going on. Because... The white people, they know what's going on throughout the earth, but us, we clueless. We walking around what, with our pants sagging, calling ourselves real niggas, bad bees. You understand that? Read. And thou shalt grow at noonday, uh -huh. as the blind grow with their darkness. So that means that, you know how blind people, when it's dark, they, uh, mean that when blind people, they blind, right? It's still light outside, that means they can't see, they going like this, right? That's the same thing the most side say gonna happen to us. But we're not literally blind, 
but we're mentally blind. We don't know what's going on. We don't know our nationality. We don't know our purpose in life. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right. Verse 29. And thou shalt not prosper in thy way. Let me ask you a question. You from this side of town? East, the east side of town? Yes, sir. Okay. Name me one black business on this side of town. I have not seen. It's not, right? All these different businesses, who own this business? Do we own them or the other nation? The other races? Other races, other races right? You understand that? So God said you're not going to be prospering your ways, like your businesses, like your job. You understand that? Read. And thou shalt be only oppressed. Are we oppressed today, young man? Oppressed. Oppressed meaning that another people stopping you from doing what? For the education, teach you the worst thing. Police could come out here and kill you anytime they want. And they still get away free with it. You know about Trayvon Martin? Oh, uh, what's the other guy who just got killed? George Floyd. Did you hear about the George Floyd case? What about Sean Reed? He from Indianapolis. Sean Reed, right? You haven't heard much, right? Being oppressed is also is, they put you in the worst condition. They make sure that whatever you do, you cannot get over them. That's why when you see most black people, what do you see them at? In the hood. In the worst part. You might find a few in karma, but majority, we stuck in the hood. That's right. That's called being oppression. They school on their education system. They teach you the worst thing. Do they ever teach you about yourself in school? What they teach you about? Yeah, white history. Everything about white history, right? That's another way we oppress. You understand that, young man? Yes, sir. All right, give me uh, verse 48. Watch this. Another way we oppress. Verse 48. Uh-huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So God said another curse is you're going to be serving your enemies. Do friends put friends in slavery? No. If you was my friend, would you put me in slavery? No, sir. So that's a, the white man who put us in slavery, what God called him? Our enemies, right? That's right. But today we walking around acting like that's our friends. Our enemies is the reason why we can't prosper. But God is using our enemies. You understand that? Read that from the top, officer. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent the enemy against us? The Lord sent the enemy against us. Watch this. In hunger. So if you want something to eat, what do you go get it at? Fast food. Fast food. Who owns those fast food? The white people, right? Read. And the thirst. So water. Water is supposed to be for free from the sky, right? Where do we get water from? Snow Who own that? White people. Like for example, like the water bottles. Not no, like the water bottles. Who own that? White people. Like when we want to pay our bills, our water bills, where do we go? Do I go to a brother? Do I go do you go to a brother like for example, right? Your parents. Do they go to a man that look like me or a sister look like me to pay them for the bill? Who, did it, who do they go to? Watch this, read. And in nakedness. Like even the clothes, young man. The clothes where you uh, the clothes you got on, where did your mom buy that from? Walmart. Who on Walmart? White people. White people, right? Watch this, read. And in want of all things. It don't matter what you want. Name me some stuff that you like. Anything that you like. Video game, right? Where do we get the video game from? Who on the store? A white person. A white person, right? What else you like? I guess our bikes and cars. Cars and bikes, right? Nothing wrong with that. But the main thing is, the main point is, where do we get it from? Stores are run by white people. But run by white people, right? What right. God called them? Our enemies. Our enemies, right? Good thing, little man. I mean, young man. You paying attention. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So what it mean when it mean that the enemy, what it mean when it say the enemy going to put a yoke of iron upon your neck? What is that? If somebody put a yoke of iron, or what? Yeah. To bring us down? When it mean about yoke of iron, it's talking about the slave chain, the chain around our neck. Take a look at this picture. You see that? We had those chain around our neck. That's right. The Jewish man that's calling himself a Jew today, or Jewish, he did not have an iron upon his neck. That happened to your ancestors. That happened to my ancestors. You understand that? Watch this. Read. Until he have destroyed thee. Let me ask you a question. Are we destroyed today? As a, as a nation? Give me an example of how we destroyed today. Guys, you know, even though we are, we are black kids, I actually not learned our true history. There you go. There you go. You understand that? 
And the school system, they make sure that they destroy so bad to the point that you don't even know that you are Israelite according to the Bible. Right. You don't even know that you are God chosen people according to the Bible. You understand that? And now what another way we, we destroy? Think about what's happening around the city. We're seeing out more Sorry. black people being killed in cops getting murdered than white people are. You see that? That's another way we destroy. Another way we destroy game banging. Like I might see, for example, I might see another black man look like me. Instead of always trying to salute the brother, trying to lift him up, right? What I do? I try to oppress him myself by either robbing him, trying to kill him. You understand that? That's how we destroy as a people. Another way we destroy is we don't know that we are Israelite from the tribe of Judah or tribe of Benjamin. You understand that, young man? All right, verse 41. Verse 41. Uh-huh. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, uh -huh. but thou shalt not enjoy them. So another way we oppress is when we have son and daughter. They have been doing slavery time on the plantation. Like the slave master, he could come get your what? Your son and daughter and do what to it? There you go. Either work them to death or put them for trade, right? Just like today, CPS could come to your mom's house, for example. If your mom not treating you right, you know that the white man have the power to go to your house and take you from your parents. Yes, but we can't do that to them. That's called being oppressed. Read. For they shall go into captivity. You hear that? They should go into what? Captivity. captivity. What another word for captivity? When somebody puts you in captivity, what's happening? Taking you, like taking you away, right? Just like I said, CPS could come to your house and take you from your mom, and your mom gotta fight back to try to get you back. But sometimes what they do, they'll put you in a foster care instead of giving you back to your parents. You understand that? Read. Okay, go ahead. Verse 43. Uh huh. The stranger that is within thee. So God said the stranger, meaning that the other nation, read, that is within thee, shall uh -huh. get above thee very high. So let me ask you an example. Who do you, who uh, on this family dollar? Oh white man, right? Who on that King Beauty Supply? Most likely is either white or Asian, right? So God said this other nation gonna be above us. Very high meaning in status, money, education, read. And thou shall come down very low. So another thing say we're gonna be very low. Are we high or low today? Which one? We low, right? That's why we struggling to make ends meet. But this other nation, they can set up their shop in our neighborhood, get our money, send their kids to all these private colleges, but we could barely make it. Don't you see something wrong with that? How can another nation come to your neighborhood, set up their shop, take all your money, take it back to their community, but we be low, but we cannot go to their community, set up our own shop. But they can come to our community, do the same thing. You understand that? Read. He shall lend to thee. Uh huh. Meaning that money wise, we got to go to the other nation if we want money, if we want to buy for money, right? Your mom own a house? Okay, for example, if I own a house and I want a bank loan, I have to go to the so called white man to ask, hey, can I get a loan to buy this house? Now I have to wait for him to approve me. You understand that? Read. And thou shalt not lend to him. You see that? Can I lend to the white man? I can't lend to him. He can't come to me and be like, hey, Levi, let me borrow some money. You understand that? Verse 68. Let me get to the main point. Let me ask you a question. In school, how did they say we made it to America? Did we walk to America? Drove a bike to America? Fly here? By what? By what transportation? Either we had to find people that was being slavery that would help us. No, the question is, how did we make it to America from the west coast of Africa? Did we walk here or what form of uh, transportation? We run here? Oh, you see, that's what they're doing in the school system. They're taking our history out of the school system. But I'm going to show you how we got here. Read that for me, officer. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Verse 68. Uh huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So, if you know anything about the children of Israel, right? God said, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. But the word Egypt have a meaning. I'm going to show what Egypt means according to the Bible. Read. 
the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. So God said he brought us out of the land of Egypt. Read. Out of the house of bondage. What's another word for Egypt? House of what? Read that, officer. Out of the house of bondage. What God call Egypt? Bondage. Bondage, right? What's another word for bondage? It's, no, if somebody puts you in bondage, what it means? Like bondage meaning not against your will or slavery. You understand that? I know you gotta go, but I'm gonna give you the last one, alright? And one more scripture before you leave. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Meaning that into slavery again. Read. With ships. With what? With ships. Take a look at this picture. When we came to America, they pack us like sardines. We came here on slave ships. You understand that? But their history, I'm pretty sure they taking it out the school system. Because when I ask you, you didn't know. It's a high you didn't know because your enemy ain't gonna never going to teach you the truth about That's yourself. right. But the Israelites today, we're going to teach you the real history. That's your real history. Not African-American history, but Israelite history. You understand that? Yes, sir. Read. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. So the same way God said it was going to happen, we came here on slave ship. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. So we didn't see our home Jerusalem again. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Unto our what? Unto your enemies. You hear that word again? We're going to be sold unto our enemy. Read. For bond men. Meaning that slave men. And bond women. Slave women. And no man shall buy you. Meaning that no man can redeem us beside Jesus Christ. You heard about Dr. King, right? Martin Luther King. Yes, sir. He trying to save us. What happened? He got killed. Malcolm X, he trying to save us. What happened? He got killed. Every black leader that trying to rise up to take us out of slavery, the oppressor or the white man, they always kill him. You understand that? The only person who can save it is Christ. That's right. So I'm going to ask you again, what, what is your nationality? Are you African American or you're what? You're, you're Israelite from what tribe? What tribe I told you? Take a look at this sign. What tribe? Which one is next to African American? Judah. Judah, right? You got to say that we proud. What tribe you from? Judah. From Judah, right? That's so right. when your friends ask you what's your nationality, what you going to tell your friends? I'm an Israelite. That's right. From the tribe of Judah. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.